Look at this motor car. A beauty, isn't it? It's got 20 years happy motoring ahead of it. Or has it? Here comes a woman. <laughs> Which side she getting in? The driver's side. Oh dear, the wrong side. Gosh, what lovely comfy seats. Yes, but this isn't a drawing room, my dear. It's a complicated motor vehicle based on the principles of the internal combustion engine, a machine far too complicated for you to understand. But I know about embroidery and kittens. Won't that suffice? Oh, blow it. I'm going to have a try. <laughs> See? Now look what you've done. Your pretty little mind simply can't cope with the motor car. Women, for pity's sake, don't drive. Champagne every ten minutes for the rest of the flight and make it decent stuff. Don't try and par me off with any of that French shit. <laughs> now, while you're at it, take that makeup off. You look like a dog. <laughs> Can I come over your tits? <laughs> Toby Carmichael, you hop it. <laughs> so, what do you do, Susan Wells? It's uh, yeah, Susan. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you do, Susan? Well, I look after my children. Ah! I always said it was very important ah, for yeah, one yeah, yeah, parents. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why do I always get to sit next to the bloody housewife? Look at the effect of education on a man and a woman's mind. Education passes into the mind of a man. See how the information is evenly and tidily stored. <laughs> now see the same thing on a woman. At first we see a similar result. But now look, still at a reasonably low level of education, her brain suddenly overloads. <laughs> she cannot take in complicated information. She becomes frantically and absurdly deranged. Look at these venomous halidans. <laughs> they went to university. Hard to believe they're all under 25. Yes, over-education leads to ugliness, premature aging, and beard growth. Not now, oh, you fucking bastard. Women, know your limits. <laughs> An ordinary dinner party. The sort of occasion we all enjoy. The men are exchanging witty stories. And look at the women, aren't they pretty? Look at the way they laugh. They're delightful. But now the conversation turns to more serious matters. I wonder if the government should return to the gold standard. I think it should. Good. Then we're all agreed. But, oh dear, what's this? One of the women is about to embarrass us all. I think the government should stay off the gold standard so that the pound can reach a level that will keep our exports competitive. The lady has foolishly attempted to join the conversation with a wild and dangerous opinion of her own. What half-baked drivel! See how the men look at her with utter contempt. There they were going home. <gasps> Women, know your no. limits in the proper way. Good. So we're all agreed. We should return to the gold standard. Oh, I didn't know anything about the gold standard, I'm afraid, but I do love little kittens. <laughs> They're so soft and furry. What a delightful thought, you dear, sweet, fragile little thing. <laughs> Women, know your limits. In thought, be plain and simple, and let your natural sweetness shine through. Done a brilliant job tonight, yeah, yeah, getting so yeah, many people from yeah, all sides of the yeah, business yeah, to attend. Yeah, yeah, I think it's important yeah, for the purchasers yeah, and suppliers yeah, yeah, to meet face to face yeah, so yeah, they can yeah, make yeah, the personal bonds. Yeah, bond. yeah, 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 yeah. What I really yeah, 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 that yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm not at all interested in anything you've got to say. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm a very important man. Now, you are a very attractive young lady, and it's nice to have you here for decorative purposes. <laughs> but you're not very important, so I can't be bothered to talk to you. Do you see? Unless, of course, your father or husband is important, in which case I would be prepared to patronise you for a few minutes for the sake of your important connections. Right. Well, I'm not married, and my father's unimportant. Well, there you are, you see. You're a very attractive waste of time. <laughs> oh, unless, of course, you want to sleep with me. I am a very important man, so it would be a huge honour for you.